Hey guys, Hidden Abilities here, and welcome back to the third episode of How to Make a Game. Alright, this time I'll be going over score, lives, um, and what else? I guess I'll just add some enemies. First, oh no. Yeah. First, I want to just drag the uh, player down to the... Dang it. Yeah, yeah, down to the ground there. Now he starts on the ground. Yeah. Alright, so... I still cannot figure out this uh, small little strange glitch. I... I mean... Eventually we'll figure it out, but... For right now, let's just get on with the scores. <clears throat> okay. So, I had an actor called Score. And... No, no animation. I'm sorry. Go to text. Sorry, I just kind of lost the train of thought for a second there. Then go to... Well, normally it would be in Windows fonts and all that. But this time, we're actually going to navigate to the game editor folder. And then go to... Examples, I think? And data? I want to say it's examples and data. Uh, maybe wrong. Nope, it is not examples. Let's go back to the tutorials. Uh, game stuff? No. So I know it's oh demo make no events and actions I know it's in one of these folders getting started here it is it's in, it's in getting started I believe game font here we go uh, the initial font character make it a space you know that this way you can have a font you know if you're using Linux and you don't have to download another font just use the bitmap font zero 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 is a test as you can see there's a zeros so I'll stamp that up here now go to draw actor script editor now we're gonna make a couple variables one is okay first one is a score and it's an integer oh we already we already have a player name that uh, name it points points and lives and go ahead and make eh, no no we'll just use points and lives for now I'll show you how to make life like hearts here in the future. So first, okay, go to type in sprint f s p r i n t f and in parentheses text, comma, and then in between quotes you would type score percent sign and a d, and then uh, backslash n, and then no spacing after that you would type lives percent sign d, and then in that off put a comma. Points, comma, lives, I believe it was. Yeah, that's the name of the variable. Yep. Okay, now as you can see here, it actually changed the text to score and lives. You know, I mean, yeah, it kind of looks sloppy, but you know, it, it gets the job done. So, anyway... Um, continuing with whatever it was. Oh yeah, score. Adding the score. Make. Uh, sorry, I'm. I'm not really clear-headed today. Jim. Let's just make it. Make an actor called Jim. And give it the animation. <laughs> Navigate to the game editor. Game editor folder again. Uh, tutorials. Data. I think it would be. Nope. It wouldn't be. Maybe diamond? Yeah, it's diamond, but Windows didn't want to register the D input, so just. I hate when it does that. Alright, so, uh. Put it anywhere you want, and then go to clone. Then go to ARA. Make about. Uh, let's make about three. Go to manual spacing. Horizontal distance, you can change the spacing. Now, collision. On the gem. Collision, any side of player. No. Destroy actor, event actor. I believe there's sound effects defaultly too in the awesome musics. Um, hang on. Uh, tutorials, data. Yep. Add the silly pop dot wave or wav wave, whatever. And loop one, and then destroy actor, event actor. Now go to destroy. Uh, go to add. Go to destroy actor. Score plus equals five. This time, whenever you get it in this way, oh points. That's right. It's points. 
I fall ye. Here we go. 5, 10, 15. We have 15 points now. There. Yeah, hey, you are. Now we're just going to add on to the level. And uh, I'm going to show you screen scrolling before I get into anything else. Do -do -do -do. Do -do 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 -do. No, I'm not even going to finish that because. Well, that's the. Uh, that's the song from Castlevania. It's awesome. Got it jammed in my head. Okay, so now I'm just going to kind of. Just add a little more level design. You know what? There we go. Uh, that's just a little bit more. <clears throat> okay. Now for these, the foreground tiles. Just gonna add some random crap here. Un I'm uh, I'm I'm gonna unlock it though. For a second, and then relock it again. There, now. Okay. That actually does not look that bad. Okay. Now screen scrolling. Uh, depending on what type of screen scrolling you want, we're just gonna use basic. Alrighty. Go back to your draw actor. If you don't have a draw actor event, create one. And then underneath all this text, like a bunch of lines down, we'll just create if X screen is greater than, which is the forward arrow, the right arrow thing. Yeah, greater than, less than symbols, you know what they are. <laughs> so yeah, if X screen is greater than, okay, 320 is half of 640. But you want to do 320 and whatever your speed is, since our speed is 5. And by speed, I mean x plus equals 5, so we're adding by 5. So, if x screen is greater than 325, or equal to, actually. Greater than or equal to, just by putting an equal sign. 325, view dot x plus equals 5. Now, if x screen is less than or equal to 315 because it's 320 minus yeah, 5 view dot x minus equals 5 now this will actually make it where the view can go too far to the left so what we want to do now is add on to the if x screen is less than or equal to uh, 315 and two and symbols <coughs> view dot x is greater than 320 or negative 320 because that's the default that's where the view is right now, which will prevent it from going too far to the left. See as you can see here. It won't work unless... There we go. Now the view actually would stop, and we can't go out of the view without having to do it in more collision. But, as you can see, the score just wants to <laughs> kind of stick. Wee. Okay. <laughs> we can also make an event where... Which I'll do, I'll go over that later where uh, when you fall off screen you just respawn so anyway to change this make the score click on parent and click on view save the game and now it follows the screen gotta admit this game's looking alright so far so I'm gonna actually add music now um, if you wanna download well I don't know I, I haven't actually prepared a specific song for this but whichever song I kinda pick from here, I mean, I guess I'll, uh, let me navigate to my Dropbox folder here. Definitely not that. That's something my friend made. No, none of this really matches. But you know what, let's just use this anyways. No, I'm not gonna make music, screw it. It doesn't match. I'll make a song later on and next episodes I'll kind of do that alright so go to your uh, PCOL actor and this time we're gonna actually go we're gonna actually learn how to save and load your uh, position okay go to create actor well events add create actor script editor uh, go back to your variables and change lives make the save group data call it data 
and then go back to your points and make the select the os the same uh, group data. Mm, nothing else really matters. Well, okay, make variables x a capital capital X make it also save in data, and capital Y make that also save in data. Now create actor save vars data. Well, actually, you know what? To prevent farther glitches in the future, go back to your X and Y and make them into a data 2 group instead of data 1. You know, instead of just data, data 2. My var name dot ext. Ext is the extension. You can name it anything you want. You know, um, data 2. I believe that's how you save the variables. I'm pretty quite I'm quite sure it is. This will save your X and Y. So like let's just say for an example, let's just make a little load thing where you collide with it and it loads. A collision, any side this is I'm this is the thing I'm just gonna use as an example as loading the save variables that you had saved. Whenever you want to save it or if you reach a checkpoint or anything like that, you would do the same thing. Save variables the same the same code you use for create actor. Okay, um, collision, any side of player, no need to repeat events, load vars, uh, what, wait, what was it that we, hang on, I forgot the name of the <laughs> file, okay, draw actor, no, it's create actor, not draw, okay, just copy this, just copy that, and then, just change the word save to load, and that's all you gotta do there. Load vars. Same thing. Now, underneath that, x equals x. Wait. Player? No, it's PCOL. PCOL dot x equals capital X. And then PCOL dot y equals capital Y. There's many ways of doing stuff like this, but this is just the way I do it. So. However, I have no idea why it's buggy. It should not bug. But glitches happen. Oh, wait. Yeah, that's okay. I'm an idiot. Okay, first we have to set the X. So I create actor. You also want to add, before the, before you save the variables, X equals X, Y equals Y. I can't believe I left that out. <laughs> but yeah, and then, then he'll load. See? He'll actually load his position back. As you can see how the view kind of wants to slowly go back after that. So to make to change that, you would uh, go back to create actor, make more variables. View X. Oh no, it has to be in data 2. And view Y. Also in data 2. Or you could just make one giant array. But uh, I'll go over arrays in the future. They're a little bit more advanced than basic. Okay, so... Va uh, view x equals view dot x view y equals view dot y there no I forgot the uh, semicolons there we go now we go here go back to the collision type in view dot x equals view x view dot y equals view y and that's is that is how you make a checkpoint or any kind of loading function. Okay. Now, if you want the uh, if you want <clears throat> the stuff to reappear when you load and your score to reset, I'll go over that way later. That's also quite advanced. See, now you're reloading. I'll kind of put them over here to show you. This is a little view test. Give me, give me the gems. See. It just loads. Now we want to actually make lives, you know? <laughs> so go to uh, player, go to create actor, you type in lives equals three, or just two if you want the zero to count. Okay. So now just go ahead and delete this land actor, or load actor, not land. Um, go back to your PCOL, go back to your draw actor thing you had. Forum, the y velocity part. Then you would do 
if y I mean if y screen is greater than 480, you would do the same load script. Well, we're just going to do this now. Load load vars. Wait. Okay. And lives is greater than 0 or greater than or equal to 0. Cuz we we had 2, so we're going to use 0 as a number. So, greater than or equal to 0 that lives minus equals 1. Uh Oh yeah. Uh, PCOL dot x equals x. PCOL dot y equals capital Y. Uh, view dot x equals view y. View dot. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm an idiot. View 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 dot y equals view y. Okay. Now. To, uh, to make a game over or just to exit the game or if you want to reload the entire game well uh, okay it's my game dot get but you would actually you would actually change the dot get to whatever you just compiled it or no you can keep it like that so let's just say else if lot wait no if lives equals negative one lot okay uh load game crap typed it wrong capital O load game and you would just say my game dot get okay so save this now let's go fall and see if it works there's okay we lost a life as you can see and score is 15 Whee. One more time, and we should uh, reload the entire game. The entire stage will just be reset as you know you got game over. <laughs> However, there's <laughs> there's a little bug in game editor there. <laughs> but um, I guess that about settles this. But now I'll just kind of kind of place some gems everywhere. I can't believe that happened. <laughs> I never even noticed that glitch before. Place about three more. Just gotta kind of line them up, hide down behind the flower there. Cl clone another one. Place these ones in the grass. You know, a little bit, you know. About five of them here. Now, Lego. You got 55. So, uh, yeah, there you go. There you have it. This, this has uh, been episode 3 on how to make a game. Tomorrow we'll be going into enemies. I probably said I was going to do that now. But this has been pretty long recording already. So, yeah, tomorrow we'll... Or the next time or whenever I upload it, we'll get into enemies. And, and whatnot. Okay, see you guys later. Thank you all for watching.